lovely people, how are you guys doing? Today I'm gonna show you how to create this very glam, super sparkly makeup look. I wanted to film a different video today, but I woke up this morning and I realized that the video that I'm about to film today will be my last video for 2019. So since this is my last video for 2019, I decided that I wanna do something good. And when I say something good, that translates to something sparkly, something glittery, something that looks like this. <laughs> because for me, that's what's good. So yeah, today I'm gonna be showing you how I created this look. My eyes are covered in glitters. I mean my eyelids, not my eyes. This is how I wanna look at the end of 2019. And this is how I wanna welcome 2020. I think that this look is also going to be perfect for your New Year's Eve if you still haven't decided what you wanna wear. You can do something like this. So hope you guys like the look, hope you get inspired. And yeah, without losing any time, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, it's one of those days. Let's glam this face up. I love wearing glam makeup looks, especially if they're sparkly. You know what? I have a little, just a little obsession with sparkles, you know? <laughs> so the first thing that you're gonna need is a gel eyeliner. I'm gonna use this one here by Sigma. It's called Wicked. You wanna get something that it's easy to smudge and doesn't dry out too quickly because if you apply it and it dries out, you won't be able to smudge it. So keep that in mind. You can take some of it on a small angled brush. I'm using the Morphe Y23 and you will start applying that gel eyeliner in the outer third of your lower lash line and then you will extend it as a winged eyeliner towards the tail of your brow. You're gonna stop somewhere in the middle of your eye. You don't want to bring it all the way to the tail of your brow and then you will start bringing some of that gel eyeliner on your eyelid following that guideline that you just created. It. Take some more gel eyeliner with your brush and just add it right here in the outer corner. Now this line here doesn't need to be perfect, okay? If you mess it up, don't worry about it. It's your guideline, okay? And when you do that, make sure that you don't create any harsh edges. You can use your finger to kind of diffuse any, any harsh lines that you create, okay? And you can already see what will be the shape of the eye look. You can already see where it's going. Super cool, right? Now, the next thing that you want to do is... Oh, no. I just remembered. I forgot to use eyeshadow primer. <laughs> I'm so good at doing tutorials. Using eyeshadow primer is important, especially if you'll be wearing the amount of eye makeup that I'm gonna show you today. <laughs> but eyeshadow primer will just make sure that everything stays in place for longer. So... Um, the next thing that you want to do is you want to take a nice flat brush. This one doesn't look clean. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Hold on. Okay, you're going to take a clean flat brush. Load it with some black eyeshadow. I'm going to use this one here. This is the Colourpop. Uh, interesting. This palette has no name on it. It's by Colourpop. <laughs> you use that black eyeshadow to set the gel eyeliner okay so you're applying it right on top of that gel eyeliner this will um lock it in place now you want to take an eyeshadow which is slightly darker than your skin tone i will use this one here this is again that color pop palette i think that these eyeshadows have names yeah this is the color pop um, eyeshadow in the shade I owe you. So I'm gonna take it on a nice fluffy brush. This is the Sigma E33 and placing it in my crease. Ooh, this eyeshadow came out a little bit more orangey than I thought. I wasn't planning on going with something that orangey, but... It doesn't look bad, to be honest with you. So next, you want to take something darker. You want to use a dark brown color. I'll go with this one here. With the Morphe M507, I'm adding that in my crease. But I'll focus most of it in the outer part. And then I'll slowly blend it towards the inner part of my crease. Taking a clean brush and diffusing everything out. 
so that all the colors in the crease look very smooth, very um, diffused. I can't believe that it will be 2020 in just a few days. I just, I can't. I wanted to do so many things in 2019. I got nothing done. <laughs> now I have all of those new ideas for 2020. So many new things that I want to do. And I also want to do all the things that I didn't get done in 2019 and 2018 and 2017. <sighs> I need to get my life together. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Okay, I'm, I'm sure that someone out there feels exactly the same. Anyways, I think that I'm getting off topic again. Okay, so now you wanna apply the base of your glitter. That can be anything. See, I used this brick color eyeshadow. You can use whatever you want. You just wanna make sure that you have something on your skin before you apply the glitters because when you apply the glitter, you don't wanna have skin showing in between the glitters. You wanna have just something underneath there. I used this eyeshadow here. I just took some of it on my finger and then I applied it in that bare area of my eyelid here where I had no eyeshadows, no eyeliner, nothing. Okay, that's pretty much it. Maybe just diffuse it in the crease, but that's it. Okay? Okay. So now for glitters, I've never done that before, but I want to Camera, I'm here. Please, focus on me. <laughs> I actually want to mix two glitters. You don't have to do that. I understand that it's a little bit of an extra step, but I want to try it out. Most of the glitter that I'm going to have on my eyelids is going to be this NYX Glitter Brilliance in the shade 08. Okay, I'm going to take some of it out. Wow, okay, a little bit a lot, but that's okay. And the BH Cosmetics Glitter Collection in the shade... What is this? Smoky Goat. I've never used this one before. Nice. And I'm just mixing them. Wow, this is going to be so beautiful. One very important thing to remember when you're using loose glitter is glitter glue. You don't want to skip this step, okay? I'm going to use this one here by BH Cosmetics. It's there. I just want to show you how much I've been using this thing, okay? Look at it. You can barely see what's the brand, what's the name. This has been very well loved. You can definitely tell. Yeah, so this is by BH Cosmetics. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of it on the back of my hand. You want to add that glitter glue on top of that eyeshadow that you just applied. Now I'm going back to that gel eyeliner, taking some of it on a small brush, this is the Sigma E06, and I will drag it across my lash line. And this way it will be much easier for me to hide the lash band of my false lashes, which I'm gonna apply in a while. This is going to be a very suitable look for the New Year's Eve, if you still haven't decided what you wanna wear. Here is an idea. <laughs> now for lashes, I'm gonna wear this pair here by Huda Beauty. It's called Hoodie. You can use any eyeshadow palette that you have. Don't feel like you need this particular one to create this look. I mean, the ColourPop eyeshadows are great. They're such a good quality and they're also very, very affordable, but I only used like what? four eyeshadows from this whole palette. So I used this one in my crease, then I added some depth with this one, the black eyeshadow to set the gel eyeliner, and then this one here is my base for the glitter. That's it, four eyeshadows. So you can basically go with any eyeshadow palette that you have. So I just wanted to finish up the look by adding this brown color along my lower lashes. Okay, so that's pretty much all for the eye makeup. Now let's go ahead and finish the face makeup. I already have my foundation, I have my brows on, so we're moving straight to the contour. I'm gonna take my favorite Too Faced Coco Contour Palette and I'll use this color here to contour my face. Then I'll apply some bronzer on my forehead. I'm using this Sigma F10 brush. 
just gonna add that on the top of my forehead blending it into my hairline I have so many baby hairs it's crazy <laughs> but i love them i mean i'm not complaining also a little bit on my cheeks just whatever i have on my brush my nose moving on to blush this is the sigma blush cheek palette and i'm mixing these two colors here like this smile and apply I don't know what's the real purpose of this brush like I don't know what what it was made for but I like it it's the Morphe M5 500 M500 and it's very soft it's not dense and I love using it for applying blush it just makes it so easy and because it's not dense you can't like I mean you can but it's very difficult to apply too much blush it doesn't have that many hairs I mean that's a good thing because that actually makes the application of the blush so much easier if you use a blush no sorry if you use a brush for your blush if your blush brush <laughs> is very dense and stiff that will make it so much harder to apply your blush or bronzer you know those kind of face products so get something that you know it's nice and soft and as i said doesn't have that many hairs <laughs> it's the best way to explain it i'm sorry i know that it doesn't sound fancy but we're not trying to be fancy here okay we're just trying to learn stuff what highlighter should I use today? I don't know. I feel like lately I've been loving so many different highlighters. I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel a little bit lazy to go get another one. I have this one here, so I'm gonna use it. This is the Natasha Denona Super Glow in Fair. Boom, boom, boom. Yes. Spraying my face. That was the O from Makeup Fixer. Now taking my sponge and pressing it on top of my highlighter and everywhere on my face moving on to the lips I'm gonna line them with a pencil by Mel Cosmetics I have this pimple here it's the most annoying thing ever for my lipstick I'll use the Huda Beauty matte lipstick in the shade last night I'm gonna add a little bit of a lighter shade just in the center of my lips here because I felt it was a little bit too dark I just applied some white pencil in my waterline just for some brightness there and that's oh we're done what do you guys think I'm loving it so much my hair is a mess today but my makeup is on point <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you decide to recreate this look just make sure that you use glitter which is safe to be used so closely to your eyes crafting glitters are the type of glitters that you don't want to put on your face or on your eyes so just know that not all glitters are safe to be used as eye makeup okay keep that in mind oh no my heart is dying if you're just listening this video you're gonna be like what <laughs> this guy here see it's running out of battery again it's driving me crazy because i need to change the battery of this thing every time i film a video it's crazy how quickly the batteries are just gone dead that's not good i think that i need to do some changes in the decor behind me in the next videos it's always so difficult to end my videos i want to be sitting here and talk forever i hope all of you guys have a wonderful new year's eve um if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel you can do it now hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell button which is right next to it because that way you'll get a notification every time i post a new video you can also find me on instagram facebook twitter all of the links will be down in the description box thank you guys so 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 much for watching and hopefully i'll see you in my next one bye